Hi, ASG Atlanta. I've just gotten home from Spring Fling, and I have to tell you, it was a great time. Lots of fun, lots of food, lots of fellowship. I mean, what more could you ask for? If you did not come to the Spring Fling, be sure that you make it to our next event because we always have such a great time together. I want to come to you with the next edition of Top Three Things and talk about what has been happening in this past month and your chapter. The three things I want to highlight today are the outcomes of our April CAB meeting, and I want to talk about um, your response to the survey. And then the third thing I want to talk about is a uh, upcoming collaboration with KSU University. So let's just dive right in. Our CAB meeting was on April 8th, and there is so much great work being done by your chapter advisory board members. I couldn't be more pleased to be serving with such a great group of SOAS. Um, the two things I want to highlight that came out of that CAB meeting are in the area of education and community service. In the area of education, uh, there are four uh, workshops that are already established for 2023. The bra workshop that's happening in May is sold out. So you can't sign up for that one at this point, but don't despair because there's another one coming in June that will be with Cookie Gainer. It's a machine embroidery uh, workshop. That one is open and you can register already on our website. So go there if you're interested in that. Uh, the next one that is planned is on August the 5th with Patsy Spencer. It'll be a bag making workshop. And then the last one for the year that we have planned is with Pam Howard. It'll be a two day workshop and it will be on September 29 and 30 and we'll be on sewing with knits. So you've got some great opportunities for workshops in 2023. The other thing that we have that's launched for 2023 is some great community service opportunities. Susan Marling is the chair of community service, and she has done a great job of providing opportunities for both sew-ins. Uh, the next one is coming up at the Sandy Springs Library on May the 11th, and that will be to sew stockings for Ronald McDonald House. But Susan has expanded her vision of community service to go beyond the traditional of sewing items to give to charities, which is an important part of community service, but she's expanded it to also be teaching the community to sew. Susan has arranged for two different libraries to host community sewing opportunities. There'll be a six session class at the North Cobb Regional Library, and there'll be two sessions at the Sandy Springs Library. Susan put out a sign up in our group's IO for all of those teaching opportunities. I really encourage you to take a look at them and to sign up to help. I've done one of these with Susan before, and it was so rewarding. So I encourage you to jump in and participate in that. The second thing I wanted to highlight for this month is the survey that we sent out. You guys did a great job of telling us more about what your hopes and dreams are for our chapter in the coming, in the future. You told us a number of things like, you told us that the things that you're most interested in learning and having a workshop on are garment fit, sewing with silky fabrics, embellishments, and either a repeat of the bag making workshop or sewing with athletic wear. So Sandy and Sue are going to be working on getting, finding out more about how we can bring those to you in 2024. But thank you for giving us that feedback. You also told us that at our events, the kind of speakers that you are most enthusiastic about are those that teach us something that are educational or those that bring a trunk show. That's great information and will help us for with future events as we plan who we bring to, to speak at those. You talked to us about the newsletter and we had a noticeable amount of input that said you would be interested in a newsletter that is a little shorter, a little more frequent, and maybe um, 
has a little more, more of an electronic feel to it where you could click links and go places. So we are looking into what that could look like. Um, none of this is, is something that is um, could just happen at the blink of an eye, but Elise and I have been talking about what some possibilities might be. So be watching for some changes there to try to, to line up with some of that input that you gave us. The last thing that I want to mention is that you talked to us about when you prefer to go to meetings and events, and you prefer weekdays and Saturdays in the morning and in the afternoon. We're going to be looking at that as new groups are formed or as existing groups are considering um, what they might do in the future and um, try to line up with those times as much as we can. The last thing I want to bring to you is one that I personally am very excited about. We are in the early stages of building a collaboration with KSU, Kennesaw State University, in their textile arts degree program. The professor in that program is going to partner with us in our Start With Art President's Challenge this year. So she will be assigning to the students in that program to enter into that project and create something based on the painting that you selected, which is Gustav Klimt's Woman in Gold. She will then curate three to five of those students to come and present their projects at our annual meeting in October. So I'm really excited to see us connect with this younger generation like this. And the professor is very excited about connecting with us as well. In fact, what she's asked us to work on is uh, joining them in an exhibit, in their exhibit hall, after our um, annual meeting and after the challenge reveal at the annual meeting, where both student projects and ASG member projects would be uh, hung in their exhibit hall. And she would like to kick it off with a reception, you know, kind of like an art gallery reception, where we would kick that off and then they would be on display for a period of time. I can't think of a better way for us to show the incredible talent that our members have and um, to join with that younger generation. So there's our top three for this month. Next month, I'll be back and I'll bring you three more highlights for what's happening in our chapter. Thank you for those of you that are contributing because those contributions are what make our chapter vibrant. So until next month, I'll be sewing alongside you. Thanks for listening.